with a girl on the border so you can make a pop. Committed a crime and went inside. You can come your way, but you have to... Well, 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 what do we have here? A little dirt bag. <laughs> What's up, dirt bag? <laughs> hey, asshole, we're talking to you. Oh, well, maybe, maybe he's retarded. Hey, you know you smoke too much weed and it makes you fucking retarded? <laughs> Just say Ozzy. Just say garbage. <laughs> oh, you're so sad. Faggots. What? I'm sorry. Say that again, huh? Say it again, huh? Oh, <laughs> say it again, man. Hey, man. Say it again, you shit. Ooh, that tastes good, huh? Say it again, huh? Hey, buddy. Come on, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Huh? Hey, Wait, come on. Hey, why don't you faggots leave him the fuck alone? <laughs> well, look at what we have here. <laughs> so what the fuck are you gonna do about it, bitch? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Sisters. I never saw two any sweeter. Now, why don't you go back to your pizza parlor, you greasy piece of shit? <laughs> get out of the car, big man. Such a big boy behind the wheel. Why don't you get out of the car too, sweetie? Come over here and get yourself a real man, Watch huh? your back. <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're disgusting. It was bought at some presidential park right across the street from the White House. Yeah. Drugs are bad. God, I just bought this tape. Those assholes ruined it. Alright. It's fired up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I get the first set. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? Come on. Fine. <laughs> Holy shit, kid. How long have you been smoking? For about a year now. My Uncle Jed smokes with me. Says it makes you more creative. Creative? That's pretty gay. Are you like a painter or something? No, I play guitar. Really? Uh huh. You any good? I'm okay. Jed shreds. He's been playing for like 25 years. He could have made it big if he could have got out of here. Says in a couple years I'll be ready for my own band. We're gonna move out to Los Angeles then. I bet you're good. Derek says he plays the guitar too. Only problem is he doesn't have a guitar. He's never taken lessons and I have never heard him play, so. <laughs> All right. If your uncle's so good, why doesn't he move out there now? No, he's good. <laughs> Judd's great. He says it's all about the look. I mean, 10, 12 years ago, that was his window. And my mom died when I was a baby. And he was left to take care of me. I'm young. Chet says I've got the looks, the chops, and <laughs> the best guitar coach in the world. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can luck with that. You're such an asshole. Whatever, you know, I'm done babysitting. Kid, it's been fun, but we're gonna take your ass home so Sam and I can have a little alone time. Yeah? <laughs> okay, Derek, let's go to my house. I wanted to meet my sister. Come on, your sister? What for? Because I think she'll like him. 
Then maybe someone will get some action tonight. Okay, Derek? <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, that's great. Let's go. Kelly's hot. I didn't think I had much of a chance. She was 15 and going into high school. Best case, I figured we'd talk a few minutes, she'd say she was tired, and I'd have to walk home. You're not gonna just leave me in my room with some boy that I've never met. Look, he's a cool kid. He's harmless. Just go talk to him. Hang out. Listen to music. Play Monopoly. Get naked. It's Saturday Damn. night. Damn! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He has a couple beers in his bag. He plays the guitar. He's gonna move to Los Angeles to be in a band. Go talk to him. Have fun. Good night. Hey. Oh, hey, look, I'm sorry for going through all your stuff. Oh, no. It's okay. Mm, by the way, you got a lot of great stuff in there. It's Sabbath, Priest, ACDC, Van Halen. <laughs> Classics. Yeah. No. <laughs> I figure they started it all. I don't think there'd be a Guns N' Roses without a Led Zeppelin or uh, Cinderella without Aerosmith. <laughs> I mean, both bands are great, but you gotta give the old guys their credit. Shit, yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, you want a beer? Yeah. Oh, wait, one second. Shit, you've guys gotta go. My dad wakes up, you will kill him. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I had fun. Call me. Okay, come on.
So where are we going? <sighs> we aren't going anywhere. All right, there's no we. You're going home. And you're lucky I'm giving you a ride because you're my problem. And stay away from Sam's sister. Get any ideas in your head? Because it's not happening. wrong with it? I don't know. I'm not a fucking mechanic. Shit, Derek, look. Wow. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> You're stuck in your piece of shit. <laughs> What's up, dirtbag? <laughs> hey, 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 what happened to your girlfriend, man? Is that, is that your new bitch? <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, guineas? What, what the fuck you just say? What the fuck did you say? What the fuck did you say? Come on, bitch. Fuck what are you gonna do, man? Come on, fuck off! Oh, big boy! Oh, big boy! Oh, big boy! Nothing but trouble. I don't think it's gonna start. Yeah, just get in the car, man. I want something, boss. I fire it up. You're gonna have to get another car for this thing, man. I'm telling you, you're gonna get stuck again, all right? All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But what the hell happened? Look, can we just talk about it in the morning, man? Yeah, all right, man. But I'm telling you. You know, you got to listen to me sometimes. You know, those guys, they're not like us, all right? It's just a bunch of mindless fucks, all right? Yeah. yeah let's just get the hell out of here, man. So, so what? <gasps> you like him. <laughs> I knew it. Maybe. A little. Like this much. <laughs> Did you get his number? No. I gave him mine. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to get rid of Bobby? It's Robert. Oh. And I haven't yet, but I will. Okay, good. And he's not a Robert. He's just a Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll dump Bobby if you dump Derek. No! <laughs> I'm not dumping Derek. Damn it. It's worth a shot. <laughs> no, seriously, Sam, you can do so much better. Look, I know that Derek can be an ass, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't know him the way I do. He'd do anything for me, and he'd be devastated if I ever dumped him. Aren't you the one that told me that sometimes you have to worry about yourself first? Yeah, well, um... Anyway, <laughs> get up. Go take a shower. I'll Why? Where are we going? 
We're not going anywhere, but don't you want to look cute for your new boyfriend? <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. He hasn't even called yet. Oh, he will. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pick out something cute to wear. <laughs> hey, Sam. Thanks. Later, Jeff. Where are you coming? Uh, to Kelly's house. She's gonna make some lunch and we're gonna watch some videos or something. All right, cool. Man. Have a good time. <laughs> That's my boy. We live in my grandfather's house. He died of cancer just before I was born. Jed said Pops would say you can tell a lot about a person if they use the walk up to someone's house or just cut across the grass. Excited to start school? No. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm starting high school I'm like a freshman. Oh, bottom yeah. of the food chain. <laughs> I forgot, you're a big high schooler now. I know. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody in that school yet? No. No? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sucks. You get to hit on all the middle school girls, though. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> well. Great. Derek's here. Again. Don't you ever knock. What the fuck is he doing here? Why do you care? What happened to you? I told you to stay away from her. Sam! Sam! She's at track, Derek. Shh. All right, you then. Come on. You're gonna come with me. No, he's not. Get out of here, Let's Derek! Let's go. Come on. We gotta take care of something. Kelly, no. Kelly, wait. It's okay, all right? So I tell Derek to keep Sam out of it. Must have told him 10 or 15 times. He didn't listen. Hey, Sam! Come here! Sam! Hey! Get in the car! Hurry up! What are you doing here, Derek? Did you just get in the car? Okay, and we're going where? What happened to your face? Those guidos jumped us last night because you had to open your mouth and help this little bastard. Now, would you get in the car? Hey, Bones. I'm um, fuck you, Derek. Seriously? Hey, you started this, all right? 
Now I'm gonna find him because I got a little something for those greaseball fuckers. Okay, Eddie, you can take me home now. I'm not taking anybody anywhere, all right? This will just take a minute. So it's done now. They have no passion. What the fuck did you just say? It's not over. They have no passion. That car doesn't mean anything to them. Because they'll just get a newer one tomorrow. And that won't mean shit to them either. Because the next best thing is always just another minute away. It's not over. I need a beer. Not too bad. Uh, 32 bucks. Fuck, man. They're like five bucks each. ID? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. I did a visit with the kid. Yeah, thanks a lot. bucks for this shit. Can you believe it? We could have gotten Heineken and a fifth of Jack. I'm great. You can take me home now. Yeah, me too, man. I got a little shit to do at the house. Nobody's fucking leaving. Do you hear me? Hey, um, listen. You know, why don't we just go back to my house? My dad's not home. No. I gotta think, alright? I just wanna drive. Where be left? No, nah, man, that was the last one. Shit. School starts in a few days. They're gonna be there. How many times do I have to tell you guys? They're not gonna do shit. Are you stupid? He beat the crap out of his car in front of his work. I'm telling you, they're not gonna do anything. Hey, look, I was thinking. Jed works on cars. I mean, just last year he built a 70 Cuda from the ground up. Bodywork, paint, everything. The car's mint. I mean, what if we tell him that he'll fix a car for him, give him a custom paint job, pinstripe his name on the door, whatever shit they like. I mean, throw in a big bag of weed and just call it even. It's a really good idea. No, fuck that, all right? And fuck them. Maybe you guys don't remember that they jumped me and kicked my ass last night. You remember that? <laughs> if Jed hadn't shown up when he did, I'd be lying in a hospital bed right now, and you'd probably be right next to me. If they want to keep this shit up, the other ones are going to be sorry. Get out of the fucking car. Get out of the fucking car! Oh, Get out of the car. Fuck. Get out of the fuck. Fuck you. Get fuck off! You. Get out of the car. Come on. Get the fuck out of the car. Not you. Get the back, bitch. Please don't do this. Get the goddamn car! Hey, Sal, take care of the little retard till I'm finished. I'm gonna cry, huh? Cry for your mommy. Go ahead, cry for your mommy. No, please don't take do off this. Your pants. Please don't do this. No. 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 Shut, shut, shut the fuck up. No, no. God damn it. Quiet. No. 
for three murders. It doesn't have to be this way. Fuck you. Shoot him, Bones. Remember that thing I was showing you before? Those final time scans, Bones? Check it out, Bones. You know what you're doing. Pick every note, all right? Here you go. Here you go, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, we're going to be out in Cali before you know it, though. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, so it's not a personal question, right? Um, no, not really. Uh, it's not about the whole sex thing, because we've already gone through that thing. <laughs> and I always told you, just make sure you're wearing a raincoat and you ain't getting the ladies pregnant, right? You know, those are words to live by, but I'm telling you. No, um, when I was three or four, I remember that Mike was over here. Hey, well, what about that asshole? I don't know, he was saying that you were stupid or something. So that you missed a chance of a lifetime and gave it up for me. Chance of a lifetime? What was that? Four years old? How do you even remember anything when you were four years old, Bob? Have you taken a look around here? You know what people do around here? They just wait till their parents die so they can move out of their basement. Alright? Chance of a lifetime. There are no chances of a lifetime around here. Fucking do it! Do it, Bones! Give me the fucking gun, I'm gonna do it myself! No, let's hear what he's gotta say, all right? This better be fucking good. That's good. That's good. All right, this is what we tell him. We, we were hanging out here, we were having a few beers. These guys came by and they tried to rob us. We, we barely had any money, so they got pissed. They smashed up my car with a the bat. They, sh they shot Ronnie and Sal and they beat me and him up. And they... They just got scared and they, they left. Fucking bullshit. Nobody's ever gonna believe that. Oh, what's the alternative then? The truth? Retard goes down for murder. You and the girl go down as accomplices and I get pinned with rape? Fucking kill you. We can leave right now. Oh, I'm sure that piece of shit's gonna start now too, right? Yeah, better yet, take the bus home, come back tomorrow and have some other dirtbag jump it for you. It's the only way. Cops will be here any minute, man. Cops will be here any minute and there's no way nobody heard those shots. It was two guys in ski masks, black guys. They were driving a silver Honda. They took 80 bucks from me and 20 bucks from him. You got it? All right, now swear on it. Swear that, that, that we stick to our stories and, and we, we leave out the details and we give them nothing else. Swear it to our graves. Yeah, I swear. I swear. What about you, sweetheart? Fuck you, asshole! All right, you don't ever fucking talk to her ever again! Fine. Fine! Just as soon as she swears it. What about it? I swear. Good. Good. We got ourselves a deal.
persuaded to the face of something. No, like I told you, they were wearing masks. Okay. Did you get a license plate? No, it was too dark. I couldn't make it out. All right, so no plate. Descriptions, all your time you just saw the two guys with masks on driving a silver Honda. Yep. Silver Honda. Did you tell how old they were? Were they white? Black? Asian? Oh, they were black. Uh, I don't know how old they were. They had to be in their 20s. I, don't, I really don't remember much. I was really scared. How tall were they? I'm not sure, and they were taller than I was, so I guess about average height, I think. Were they skinny? Fat? No, just average. What clothes were they wearing? I do not remember. <sighs> they killed my friends, okay? And I don't think that you understand that. We're gonna catch these guys, okay? I just need your help. Because you maybe notice their shoes. They had tattoos. No, I didn't. I didn't notice. All right. Here's my card. If you remember anything, anything at all, you call me. Yeah. I'm sorry to meet your friends. Your uncle's just been outside waiting. You're free to go. I was really scared that night at the police station. For a second I thought, maybe they believed us and this would all be over. But I knew it wasn't that simple. Go off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. No, no, I, I got it. We'll be down in a little bit. All right, thanks, man. Bye. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, sunshine? That's the fucking cops, dude. They want to know what the fuck you're doing with those clowns you've been hanging out with. It's fucking bullshit, man. Get your fucking goddamn boots on and let's get the fuck out of here. Hold it. Coming. Listen, is there something you want to talk to me about? No. You sure? I already told you. They were trying to rob us. All right, so that's it? Yeah, that's it. I don't think it's that simple. You know, I, I kind of find it rather odd we're back down here at the police station. Two boys are dead which I told you to stay away from. I already told you what happened. You know what, listen, Bones, you better start lying to the police a little bit better than you're lying to me right now. Bench, man, welcome back. See you guys soon.
So, uh, we got some uh, information that just doesn't seem right. Someone reported seeing a kid. Fifth year buddy Derek's description. Smashing a Mustang with a baseball bat the other afternoon. Yeah, so? So? You, along with your friends, stated windows were broken by the guys that robbed you and shot Sal and Ronnie. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah, see, that brings me to my next problem. We dusted the bat for prints and we found some. The problem is that they belong with Derek and Samantha. And, uh, what's it say? Oh, Benjamin. That's you, right? <clears throat> yeah. See, we just figured, call us crazy, but if somebody else did it, there would be some prints. Yeah, we'll need gloves on. <clears throat> Probably because of the gun. And that's Derek's bet. Me and Smith were messing around with it earlier. Derek keeps it in the car for protection. Oh, protection? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Protection from what? Oh, you know, in case someone tried to rob or threaten us. Happens, you know? Yeah. No. You and the other two, you seem a lot different than Anthony. You know, long hair, rock and roll shirts. It just doesn't figure to me that you all would be friends. It's really hanging out with pigs then, right? We'll be in touch. Yeah. Hey, let me know when you find those assholes that did this. We will. Yes, we will. It's a good song. A good song. It's a great song. That's a great song. All right. Everything going out. Okay? Yeah, there's no problem. You cool? Yeah, I'm fine. Because if you want to talk to me about anything, everything's cool. Just, just trust me. Okay. In the end, it's just you and me. What are you doing? The back's right here. Oh. Oh, God, yeah. Jed said sometimes you get dealt a bad hand in life. <laughs> but if you were hungry oh, enough, no, it's right. red. you can turn chicken shit into chicken salad. I don't have any blues. Oh, there you go. I just went back Question me again. I told them everything the first time. Assholes. I'm scared. It's gonna be okay. I really didn't know it was gonna be alright. Actually, I thought it was only a matter of time before the shit really hit the fan. There was no reason to tell Sam or Derek that, though. I just had to keep them calm. Two of you get in here and clean up. I don't suppose either of you started on dinner yet, either. Worthless, both of you. Bones. What are you doing here? Anthony. I saw him at school this morning. He said the cops were at his job asking questions. Shh. Not here.
They know, Bones. No, they don't. They're asking too many questions. They called Derek in last night. So what? Derek didn't tell them anything. And they went to Anthony's job to ask if anyone knew anything about Derek clubbing his car. And? He told them ahead of time not to say anything so it wouldn't hurt his insurance claim. That's perfect. So far from perfect. Do you know what it's like to have to see that piece of shit? Then to have to talk to him? He ruined my life. Look, it'll come back to him. All right, Sam? I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. I gotta get back to class. with all those high school guys gawking at her. <laughs> she does. checking out what's new to the school. You should know, freshman. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I don't know. I want to go to my house, uh, listen to some music, and jam a little guitar. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, Jed. This is my friend, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. How are you doing, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are you guys doing, huh? Just going to hang out. All right. Well, cool. Well, there's beer in the fridge, bro. All right. All right. Have a good time. Yeah, I'm serious. She's got to go now. I'll just see you tomorrow. Yeah. It's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you, too. What the fuck, Jed? You don't even know this girl. Yes, I do, and why do you even care? Why do I care? Because I got to take care of you, little ass. You don't have to tell me. I'm not a little kid. God, yeah. you didn't even tell me shit when I was a little kid. Yeah, I told you not to hang out with those guys, though, right? I don't, and I never did. Yeah, well, it's funny how you ended up with them the other night. I wasn't hanging out with them. They just came along. I, and she's not one of them either. She's actually cool, and you'd like her. I like her. A lot. 
I'm not talking about the girl, dumbass. I'm talking about the goddamn white Monte Carlo. Who's in that? I don't know. Don't play stupid with me. Who's in the white Monte Carlo? I don't know. All right. Yeah, you know what? Well, they just cruised by here a little while ago. Two goombas sitting in the goddamn thing. Staring me down. I don't need this. You know what? I'm not about to let someone else in our family throw their life down the drain. All right? Don't fucking lie to me anymore. I'll stop lying to you when you stop lying to me. Whatever, man. I've never even seen these guys before. Anthony's talking. You heard Sam broke up with me. What? No, when? Yesterday after school. How come? What do you think? I let her down. This whole thing's my fault. No, it's not. All right, it's no one's fault, man. We've been going out for almost a year. It was her birthday next week. You know, I, I bought her a little ankle bracelet. This isn't how it was supposed to be. <sighs> she was a virgin. I thought that... Yeah. And she wanted to wait. We talked about getting married after graduation. She wanted to wait. I got this white Monte Carlo following me. Guido's in it. Yeah, me too. So he's talking, Bones. I know. <sighs> so I need the gun. All right, I need you to tell me where you put the gun. I don't know. I, I hid it under the trash can and I came back for it and it was gone. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck, Bones. Well, don't worry, they didn't find it. Some homeless guy probably picked it up looking for cans. God, I'm gonna kill him. I swear to God, Bones, I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna kill him. No one else is dying, right? Look, we need to talk to him. Fuck talking, all right? I'm through talking. Stop. You gotta get your head on straight. We're gonna fix this. Tomorrow, after school. Park top of the hill. You tell him. It's the only way. I didn't really have a plan. And I had no idea what I was going to say to Anthony. He wasn't keeping his promise. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. Someone I gotta show you. 
It's been a long time coming. Come on. She ended up sending out a, a demo tape. I mean, I thought she was kind of crazy, uh, yeah, but she insisted. I mean, it was like about nine years ago, and um, you know, it's when, when Ozzy got kicked out of Black Sabbath. You know, he was starting his own thing. And? Oh, and what happened? They ended up listening to uh, you know the demo tape. And they, they wanted to fly me out to California in like two weeks. And you didn't go? You no, know, it's, it's it's a little bit complicated. Uh, what happened was, it, it ended up coming down to me and uh, this other guy out from Los Angeles. Listen, I was like walking around like a zombie after your mother died for about two weeks. Last thing on my mind was auditioning, you know, and doing that stuff. It was just like, uh, I would, I probably would have gotten it anyways, but I don't think, I never would even gotten a chance if she didn't send out the demo tape. Uh, uh, listen, after I came out of my coma and deuce fog that I was in, uh, you know, I ended up, I ended up finding this. I'll check this out. He ended up drawing me this picture, man. Even the guitarist in Ozzy. Yeah, I mean, holy shit. Oh, <laughs> Listen, the, the guy that got the gig, uh, he's pretty good too. Uh, listen, Ozzy did all right. Right? He's out of his mind high. He told me there was no way he could quit. And then, you know, your mom started using two. Pregnant with you, and he gets her hooked. And, uh, at this point, I was beyond rage. And I grabbed the tube sock, wrapped it around his neck, and I just strangled the bastard till he was dead.
Your mom would have made it. I'm going to my room. Well, no, no time. I know. You're not going to bed. Well, look. What is this? What is this? Now it's your turn. What is it? Those guidos? Derek smashed up their car with the baseball bat. Mm -hmm. After we got jumped that night. Good. I didn't want to go. And I told him not to, but he didn't listen to me. So we went to the school. And we were hanging out in the parking lot. And they pull in. So one of them pulls a gun. Yeah. And the other two jump Derek. Okay. And the one with the gun kicks me out of the car. One of the other ones just decks me. So he rapes Sam, Kelly's sister, in the back seat of the car. I can't believe this. And we're outside on the ground. So when he's done, comes back outside, comes to us waving his gun around. Yeah. But he doesn't see her running up to him with the bat. Bones mm -hmm. down. Bones calm down. Fuck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. So she hits him with the bat. Uh huh. And he drops the gun. Mm. I pick it up. Yeah. And I shoot the other two, Jed. I shot him. Oh, shit. So now the cops are coming. <laughs> and, and the guy that raped Sam said that we should tell the police that that they robbed us and that they killed the other two. And we all swore to it. Listen, you better take that story and you better stick with that one and take it to the grave. And that white Monte Carlo? <laughs> it's been following me and Derek. Listen, just, just be careful. All right. Me, Derek, and that kid Anthony are meeting tomorrow after school in the park. It's the top of the hill. Mm hmm. So you just be careful, all right? Hey, Jed. No. I love you. I love you too. Jed never told me he loved me before. I knew he did. But he never said it. I guess he realized just how alike we were. We were both murderers. last night. I'm really sorry. I, I wasn't feeling too good. Yeah, Jed said you had a heavy head or something. Whatever that means. I just had a headache. No biggie. Uh, so, there's this dance at the high school Saturday night. Really? Yeah. It's pretty informal and it's at the gym. But I was kind of wondering if you would go with me. Yeah, sure. 
I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's not like they're gonna play any good music or no. anything, but uh, Kelly, I don't want to go with you. All right, I want to. Cool. Oh, did you hear Sam broke up with Derek? Yeah, he stopped by and told me. I couldn't talk though. I felt like shit. That reminds me. He's waiting for me in the park. For what? I don't know. Probably to talk about Sam. I want some advice on getting her back, I guess. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, no kidding, right? I better go. I don't need him showing up at my house in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, okay. I'll call me later. Hello? Oh my god, Bones! Kel, it's okay. They killed Derek! I thought you were with him! That kid Anthony is dead too! Why didn't you call me? I'm sorry, I just got home. I walked over to the park and I saw the cop cars. A lady told me that two boys were shot. I couldn't get in, so I just came home. I'm shaking. Does Sam know? Do they know how it happened? All I know is that they're shot and they're both dead. Can you come over? Yeah. I'll be right there. come and talk to me. I probably would have been dead too. Bones, what's going on? What do you mean? I mean, what's going on? What's wrong with people around here? Jet says it's a dead end. You need to get out or you end up giving up. I need to get out of here. I want to come with you to Los Angeles. I'll probably graduate before you go. I can get a job. Maybe act. I'll only be here. Promise? Yeah. think about dying? Well, yeah, I mean, haven't you? I never used to. Ever since those two kids got shot, think about it 
a lot. Yeah. Me too. What do you think happens to you when you die? And do you think it's just nothing? Like it's over and that's it? Chad says it's just one never ending backstage party. <laughs> Jed would say that. <laughs> but seriously, do you believe in heaven? I'm not sure what I believe in. Neither do I. Hey, what's up, buddy? I was I ordered some pizza. Should be here in a little while. All right. Uh, I'm not that hungry. All right. Oh, listen. I heard about those boys that got shot in the park. I was looking for you. I mean, were you supposed to meet up with those guys? I got hung up. I couldn't make it. Oh. I would think that's a good thing. All right. You want to have a beer? No, I'm looking at him. Just... Hey, come on, have a beer. Over. I was most amidst all the chaos. I got some good news. Uh, I, I got some call from this big time producer out in California. He wants me to do some session work. You know, I figured we'll make some money and, you know, we'll have a good time when we get out there, right? And? Yeah, and we're gonna go out to California, work on your career. You start writing, working on your chops, everything. Well, when would we be leaving? We we'll leave, we'll leave it on Friday. It's gonna be great. But I'm going to a dance on Saturday. Well, I don't think so. You can veto that one. Not going to any dance. You can save your dancing shoes for Cali, huh? What the hell's the matter with you? You don't understand. You're the one that wanted to get out of here before me. I don't understand. Oh. I promised Kelly that I wouldn't leave her out here. <laughs> OK, all right, so th this is about a girl? You're not even 14 years old. What do you know about women? Have you seen the women out in California? Fuck you. I don't care. Hmm? I don't think you get it. No, I don't get I it. I promise, Kelly, and I'm not breaking my promise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, great. Friday? For real? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I'm not going, Kelly. I'm not leaving you here. Bones, you're going. It's your dream to go. I don't care anymore. You're going, and that's final. I mean, we're still gonna talk. I'm gonna get out there someday.
Hi. Hey. Hey. Oh, school. The usual. <laughs> I wish you were there. Yeah. I'll be there next year. Holmes, we talked about this. I'm going to California. You can't stay here. Look, Kel, I'm not leaving you, all right? Yes, you are. You just said it yourself. You either get out or you give up. No, that's what Jed said. Well, Jed's right. Look, you're my only chance of getting out of here. If you won't do it for yourself, then do it for me. on the bathroom floor. No. She slid her wrist. No. I'm sorry. No. What's wrong? Nothing, man. I'm just tired. Talk to me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Come on. They found Sam dead today. She killed herself. Fuck. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> she, she didn't deserve this. I know. Any of this bullshit. She was one of the good ones. She was my friend. Listen to me. And listen to me good. I'm sorry, but you know, I mean, sometimes, sometimes a good guy, young, you gotta be strong, you gotta hang in there. Okay? Just listen to me. Man. Yeah. Right? Alright? Yeah, let me get something here. Cool. A few days went by. I tried calling Kelly and left a few messages, but never heard from her. She's been missing school. The funeral was the next day, so I figured I'd see her then. We were moving in a week. She had even had the house rented. Kelly. You all right? I missed you. I missed you. I'm okay. Not great, but I'm better. Yeah? Hey, look, let's do something, all right? Anything you want. I'd like to go sit in the park. I have Sam's letter, and I'd like to read it together. Let's go. <laughs> oh. 
Open it. Not on you. You. Just open it. It is a happy girl who loves life. And I want you to smile when you think of me. I will see you again someday. Surround yourself with love and chase your dreams. I'm gonna get a bus ticket and meet you in Los Angeles. Hmm. I don't know, what about your dad? He doesn't give a shit. Do less mouths when you feed him weak? He'd be thrilled. I figure I can lie about my age. Get a waitress job somewhere. <laughs> Take some acting classes. <laughs> you think Jeb will let me stay with you guys for a while? I mean, I can help with the bills. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be cool. <laughs> And then when I get discovered, I'll buy a huge house with a yard and a pool. <laughs> Not if I get my big record contract first and I buy a house in the beach with a pool, a butler, and a Ferrari. Ah! <laughs> Deal. Okay. <laughs> So good. Uh, I know, though. I miss him. I loved him. I miss him too, though. I don't understand.
I don't understand either, babe. Man. Listen, I'm leaving, and I'm not coming back. Yeah, I should have left with him a long time ago. Tell him, listen, you need anything, anything, you just let me know. I, I just, just give me your number. Because that's the way he would have liked it. All right, listen, when I get settled in, I'll give you a call in a couple weeks, okay? All right, take care of yourself.